In this media, you will learn about operating principle, working and application of a wheatstone bridge. Operating principle One of the classical instruments used for finding the resistance of an unknown resistor is the wheatstone bridge. It consists of four branches with resistances P, Q, R and S. Galvanometer is connected between the terminals B and D. It is used to monitor the current flowing from one voltage divider to the other. Assume that the two voltage dividers have exactly the equal ratio say P by Q equals S by R. Under this condition terminals B and D will be at the same potential. Then the bridge is said to be balanced. No current flows in either direction through the galvanometer. Assume that the resistance value of any one resistor out of the four resistors changes even a little bit. The bridge will then become unbalanced and some current will flow through the galvanometer. Now P by Q is not equal to S by R. Working You will now see how the bridge works in measurement of an unknown resistance. The values of P and Q are precisely known but they do not need to be identical. The resistor S is a variable 1. Connect the resistance Rx as shown, whose value has to be found out. Switch on the power supply by placing the key K1. Press the P.B1. If the galvanometer shows large deflection, it shows unbalance in resistances. Adjust the variable resistance S to carry out course balancing till galvanometer reads zero. Now press push button 1 and push button 2 simultaneously to carry out fine balancing by further adjusting the variable resistance S. Try adjusting the rheostat S in various ranges until the galvanometer G reads zero current. At this point, Rx is equal to S into Q by P. From the above formula, the value of resistance of the unknown resistor Rx can be found out. Application Wheatstone bridge is one of the commonly used transducers in most control instruments and systems. Assume that the bridge is used in temperature measurement. Rx is placed in the spot whose temperature has to be measured. Rx may vary when the spot temperature varies. Then the ratio becomes upset, causing current flow in the current wire that is through GM. This current can be calibrated in terms of temperature that is being measured. For example, let us say that the bridge is working at ambient temperature 30 degrees with Rx equals 6 ohms. Some current flows through the galvanometer, that is temperature meter, showing 30 degrees. As the temperature in Rx increases, the resistance increases and a current flows through the galvanometer, that is temperature meter. The value of this current is used to indicate the temperature at the resistor Rx. Thus you have learned about operating principle, working and application of a wheatstone bridge.